Oh, that's the Tiat, the Catching Sun. Don't want that to make me. I'll cover the chin. Now there's a nice looking church, which I wouldn't be surprised if it's the Capo San church. And uh, that, that's what the the uh, theatre was called. And uh, when it's closed, they always the day off, it's a Sunday, so I wouldn't expect anybody to work on that day. Mm. I don't understand what this uh, represents, but uh, it's much more preferable than seeing people who have gotten statues built for them for killing people. In this case, the, only the audience died. Oh, some lady beckoning others to her. Not quite my type. Well, that's a pretty impressive view. First of all, a plane landing. A big plane landing. Not just a little one, a big one. And there's a train going past over that uh, bridge, which looks some like looks like out of one of them um, toys you see in the railway uh, stations in Germany. I used to see in the railway stations in Germany. Oh, the, the, the magnificent uh, viaduct, the br train, the new train going over it. In fact, oh, this is a local train I can see from here. And the church behind it. Turn the right. We've got the castle. So, well, so it's city walls, I should say. What appears to be a um, one of the entries into the city. The uh, fortifications of here were built uh, by 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 the person who worked for Louis the Fourteenth. Whose name I've forgotten. And after the siege, which destroyed the uh, the city, uh, so it's a part of the city walls. He rebuilt them, and it made Luxembourg one of the most heavily fortified um, cities in uh, in Europe. And now we have this wonderful bridge, look at that. Pretty impressive that is. Amazing. Oh, there's some new stuff up the top. Well, I shall continue walking in this direction. Marshall Zerb. Now my other comment, I couldn't remember the name of the um, the, the fortifier of Louis XIV. I have to come back, his name was Vauban. He was born in 17... Hmm, 1703, no sorry, 1603, and he died in six. Oh dear, I can't remember now. Hang on, it's gone. Forget that. Can't have been. No, that's right, he was born in 1633, and he died in 1709. I get there eventually. Um, Maybe it was me a bit nervous and people sort of came up behind me and so I'm talking to myself. You know, that's a nice looking fountain. Very musical uh, people here. Ah, some sheep at the bottom as well. Dancing sheep. That's the song by Abbo, isn't it? Dancing sheep. Dancing sheep. She's a dancing sheep. Feel the beat of the tambourine. <laughs> I've just done something I very rarely do. I'm pretty certain, I'm not pretty certain, I'm 95% certain. If I go down here and turn left, that's where they've the car. It's the 5% of doubt that's got me. <laughs> and uh, 
I very rarely get lost. I'm not lost yet. I'm 5% lost. I might be 100% lost by the time we get to the bottom of the hill. But for the moment I'm 5% lost. Well, once again, it just goes to prove that I just cannot get lost. Cars parked down there. But there was an element of doubt. And I did take the wrong motorway today. Which I, well, I did realise pretty quick I was on the wrong one. Now, the next part of the plan was to see the city walls. But, uh, don't know when I'm going to bother doing that now. Um, I might, that'll have to wait for next time. In 23 years' time, when I come back here. And the last time I was here was in 1980. No, it wasn't 86, it was in 87. I had an interrail card. And I almost got stuck in the, uh, in the lift. The lift got jammed. I was in the British Embassy. For some reason, I took the lift down instead of the stairs, as I always then did. And, anyway, this lady um, was then in oh, film was 65, got ready for retirement. And she said to me, she was uh, frightened or anything, and uh, I said, no, 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 it's not used to that sort of thing happening. And uh, anyway, she invited me for a drink, and then she took me back to her place, and she asked me to help her do some things, and uh, tidy some of her stuff up. That was really nice. I thought it was very, very pleasant of her. And she was all from, she was from Chester Street. And she has been working, she was working in the embassy, and uh, she had before she'd been in Peru and Bolivia and had all sorts of horrible things and so they sent her here to sort of recover before she retired. Very nice. On the maps you can see how it's divided into different sections of the town. And it's pretty clear where the division lies <laughs> between this, the old bit, and the next bit over there. And here's the city wall. But I'm not going to walk around it now. And there's the national flag. War Memorial, first and second. Oh, and then bicycles look interesting. Stick some money in it and drive it around the way for some. Oh, it's the sort of thing many places should have. Oh, very good. Coupon I just mentioned the bicycles. I don't know uh, if this is coming up or not, but this is it. You can, um, for one year, if you pay 15 euros to get your card, and then the rental is um, one euro. <laughs> per go, then you have to take it back. But, oh, that's pretty good. What's about buying a bicycle? Right. When I think about it, I mean, my, my bicycle was about 500 euros. <laughs> that's pretty, pretty good. And somebody else takes care of it. So they put this nice looking walk uh, down there. Very pleasant. This is where I started from. So this is uh, part two, just going back to the car, get my stuff. And uh, that you be part three or part four by the time it comes out and, and film. One of the things I've noticed in this place is these Wi-Fi zones everywhere. I mean, 
if you want to do your Wi-Fi next to a, a lamp post, that's not what the dog would do. That's probably the right place to do it. Well, there's pretty keen bronze statues in this place. This is what Luxembourg looks at night. I suppose next to nothing's going to come out. But I've got to say, standing up here in these empty streets, it's really very, very attractive. Wow. Anyway, you've got to come and see it for yourselves. Just been asked, is it a night? Is it a beautiful city? And I said, no, it's nice. But it's very nice now. <laughs>